Hello, my name is Brett Formosa and welcome to a Unity tutorial video series for beginners. For this series, I will go through each step with the mindset that all you've done is install Unity with no prior research or experience to make sure everyone can feel included and learn as we go. You can contact me either through the comment section down below, by visiting my personal website, or by leaving a message on my itch.io page. The links are in the description of this video. Last video, we implemented audio into the game while also manipulating it through code. In this video, we are going to build the game and upload the game to itch.io. Let's get started with part 11. We have fully completed everything to remake Space Race for one player. However, if you go through the playlist again with adding a second player, for example, it can easily be done to fully replicate Space Race. However, you wouldn't be learning anything new, so therefore, I'm only going to do this portion. When we get the game completed, however, we just need to do a few simple steps before we can publish our game to itch.io or just be able to share the game. Make sure all your settings are how you want them before you build the game. As when the game is built, you can't change the max score or other in-script options like that unless you rebuild the game. To export your game, you simply need to go to File and then Build Settings. We were in this screen before when we were adding the main menu scene to the game, and we will go over the settings for building the game. For platform, we just want to make sure we are targeting the right platform. By default, the platform is Windows, Mac, Linux, which is one of the more popular options. However, there are plenty of different options you can choose from, such as WebGL, which is if you want the game able to be played in a browser, such as itch.io. Android, iOS are options if you want to build the game to mobile. There are also console options as well. For now, I will go over the Windows, Mac, Linux options. On the right where it says target platform, you can choose if you want the game to be either one of the three operating systems and also change what architecture you want your game to run on. The default for Windows, for example, is 64-bit. The rest of the options are quite advanced and you don't need to change them as of right now. Um, I will go over them in a future video, however, but seeing as this is most likely your first project, leave them on the default settings for now. You can also click player settings, which will open up another window where you can add your company name, what version of the game you're building, as well as adding cursor images, the icon for the game, add splash screens, or change other settings. Once you have your target platform selected and you've changed around the player settings that you want to change, you can click either build to just build the game or you can push build and run if you want to build the game and also try it out to make sure it runs properly. I'm going to click on build and run. After this, a window will pop up where you want to build the game too. It's always best to put it in a folder so you don't have the random files flooding in unnecessary places. Once you find the folder, click Select Folder and the game will start building. Depending on the size of your game and your computer's hardware, this can take either a few seconds to a few hours if you have a massive game. Either way, just let it do its thing and build and you should have a working game in no time. Once the game is built, it will run automatically and you can give it a try. Keep in mind with the built games, you need to make sure all of the files are in the same folder for when the player downloads the game. If the game is missing a file, the executable will launch and you'll release a broken game. Once you make sure the game works fine, head on over to itch.io to start uploading the game. Click on your profile in the top right and click on Dashboard. This will take you to your projects dashboard where you can click the Create New Project button. Once you click that, there will be a handful of boxes you'll need to fill out to make sure the game is findable and also enticing to download and play. You can change settings like the title, add a picture for the game, so on and so forth. For the kind of project setting, if you have built a WebGL version of the game and want it to be played in browser, just click on the drop down and select HTML. Once you fill out what you think is good for your project, where it says uploads, you'll want to upload the files. Make sure the folder you are uploading is a compressed.zip file and change the settings to how you prefer such as the name of the download file, if it's an executable or soundtrack or other kind of file, what platform the executable is for, if you want to change the price of the file, if you want it to be a paid product, uh, etc, etc. If you want the game to be played on the browser, upload the WebGL zip folder and select this file will be played in the browser. 
Once this is done, change around some more settings if you prefer, fill in the details, add the install instructions, and click on save and view the page. This will take you to what the page looks like, and if you want to further customize it, such as adding a background to your game and changing the font, just click edit theme at the top of the page and change around the settings you desire to change. Once that is done, hit save, and then you have fully uploaded the game to itch.io. With this done, you have built and uploaded I assume to be your first game. Congratulations for completing your very first game. Feel free to mess around with the game to further customize it to how you want, or start a brand new game with the knowledge you've gained from this series. If you have started the series at the beginning, or just picked and chose specific spots you wanted to gain further knowledge on, that is okay. And all I ask is if you want more Unity or game development tutorials, please leave a like on any of the videos that helped you out, and subscribe for more content. Thank you, and I will see you in the next video. Take care.